question number 176 the protein portion of a hollow enzyme is called and the options are cofactor epoenzyme prosthetic group coenzyme and the correct answer to this question is option number 2 epoenzyme is the proteinaceous part of a hollow enzyme option number 1 cofactor option number 3 prosthetic group option number 4 coenzyme are incorrect options these are non proteinaceous portion of a hollow enzyme and the correct answer to this question is option number 2 let's move on to the next question question number 177 which of the following statements is incorrect with respect to enzyme inhibition and the very first statement says a competitive inhibitor binds the enzyme at the same site as the substrate and as it is a correct statement this cannot be a correct answer to our question the next statement says competitive inhibition can be overcome by addition of higher amounts of substrate this is also a correct statement so cannot be a correct answer to our question the next statement says the presence of non-competitive inhibitor reduces the Vmax of the reaction is also a correct statement so cannot be a correct answer to our question and the last statement is a competitive inhibitor reduces the apparent KM for a given substrate this is an incorrect statement and is a correct answer to our question what is KM? KM indicates the substrate concentration a competitive inhibitor increases and not reduces it increases the apparent km for a given substrate this means that in the presence of competitive inhibitor more substrate is needed to achieve half v max so the correct answer to this question is option number four let's move on to the next question question number 178 in the diagram given below depicting the activation energy of the enzyme x represents now this is x and it represents what it represents the transient state and according to ncrt this transient state is enzyme substrate complex so the correct answer is option number two enzyme substrate complex option number one substrate product complex is incorrect option number three large amount of product formed is incorrect option number four large amount of enzyme formed is also incorrect and the correct answer is option number two let's move on to the next question question number 179 select the incorrect statement with respect to enzyme action and the very first statement given is enzyme shows highest activity at optimal temperature and ph this is a correct statement so cannot be a correct answer to our question the next statement says low temperature causes permanent denaturation of enzymes is an incorrect statement and is a correct answer to our question because higher temperature causes permanent denaturation of enzymes lower temperature preserves the enzymes in a temporarily inactive state it doesn't denature the enzyme the next statement says enzymes bring down activation energy barrier is a correct statement so cannot be a correct answer the last statement thermostable enzymes retain catalytic power even at 80 degrees centigrade or celsius so this is a correct statement so cannot be a correct answer to our question and the correct answer to this question is option number two let's proceed to the next question question number 180 the prosthetic group of enzymes that catalyze the breakdown of hydrogen peroxide is and the options are zinc heme niacin magnesium and the correct answer to this question is option number two heme heme is a prosthetic group of peroxidases and catalases catalases peroxidase catalyzes this reaction so correct answer is option number two zinc cannot be a correct answer zinc is a cofactor of carboxypeptidase niacin is incorrect niacin is a component of coenzyme nicotine amide adenine dinucleotide and magnesium is incorrect because it is a cofactor of hexokinase so the correct answer is option number two so with this question, I would like to end up the discussion of this AIATS paper. I hope all your doubts and queries have been solved regarding this paper. Thank you very much for watching and all the best.